to date. Uh, we have signed obviously two internationals that are here now. We are, we are still expecting three to come. Uh, two of those are from Nigeria, uh, full youth internationals. They have recently also again been called up by the Nigerian Athletic Committee team. Uh, Okolo, uh, and then we've got an, a Ghanaian international that's also coming. Uh, and then that's a striker. He'll be joining soon. So the reason why we went to, into Africa for these players is because we've got an Africa campaign. And remember that all the teams that are successful in Africa campaigns have strengthened their teams with foreign internationals. Uh, you know that Sundowns have got Peter Shalulule, uh, you know that Al Ahli have got Percy Tau, uh, rather they've got uh, all these young Africans from Tanzania, they've got all foreign players. So this is our third attempt uh, at Africa and we have learned the lessons from the previous uh, competitions and we are using this opportunity to really be more than ready and hopefully get into the group stages. At the, at the same time also we would like to announce our pre-season plans. Uh, you know that the guys are now doing uh, two sessions per day, one in the gym, one on the field. Uh, the coach has taken charge of, of things. Uh, so what we intend to do is that when we start tapering off from the hard physical stuff, we intend to go towards the end of next week towards Botswana. We have a game confirmed against Township Rollers for the 5th of August. Uh, we will play another game on the 8th uh, uh, of August as well in Botswana. There's a new stadium that's being opened there. We're just waiting for confirmation on that front. Uh, we also try to have our final preparation game against uh, a team from Zambia um, on the 11th uh, of August. Uh, that will be hopefully here in Banduk because as you be aware that uh, our application to participate has gone through. It has gone through on the field that we submitted, uh, which is the Hager Game Stadium. Uh, we are still waiting if perhaps there is any feedback in terms of what we need to rectify before we can play there but we hope that uh, for all intents and purposes uh, we will be able to have all our games here and uh, over and above that group it's an exciting period uh, in the life of our club because uh, we really want to push the boundaries to be able to see how far we can put uh, Namibian football on the African level. Uh, just a question from my side um you mentioned of the signings. I would like to know in how many are they in total. We have, we have seen so far two. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we, have, we have seen two. We are waiting for, for three. That actually is just paperwork and then they should be coming. But um, we anticipate to have uh, a full quota of maybe six or seven foreign internationals, right? I know that uh, I think the league locally uh, only allows for five are registered in the league, but remember in Africa you can use all 11 as foreign internationals. Yeah, so we, we, we really want to strengthen the team, and you know that uh, if the objective is for us to get into the group stages, uh, it would mean that uh, there would be games coming thick and fast. So you need to have a big squad, a team that can compete on the domestic front and hopefully also compete at the uh, Africa front. And we are hoping that perhaps this season there could be a cup competition as well. So we want to be competitive at all fronts. That's why we are building uh, quite a, a, a strong in a sort of a big team. If you, you spoke highly about the foreign guys. I'd like to know particularly about the Namibian, two new Namibian signing, particularly Dion, uh, coming from the Township Rollers and what yeah, so, so Dion is, is uh, actually his homecoming. Uh, he's, he's really uh, a player that uh, we have liked a lot over the years. Uh, and, uh, but Dion has not really fulfilled his potential. We really hope that this season uh, he really kicks on and start influencing games and really uh, take, because he's one, of the, he's one of the players that we have hopes to break into the national team. We know that there's Chan coming up, there's World Cup qualifiers, uh, there's the Afghan. Uh, that I think we should qualify uh, that's coming up. So there's a lot of Brave Warriors games coming up and I think Dion is one of those players that actually forced his way into that. We've got high hopes for him. And uh, the young man Sosa, Angelo, uh, he's a 19-year-old. Uh, he's highly talented. 
I think he'll also have a breakout season this year. And remember that the coach that we got uh, is not only a coach for coaching senior players, but also the developmental component of it. And I think players like Sosa are players that we intend to export uh, because of the huge potential that exists. I mean, he's only 19, he's got a full premier season behind him, and now he's joining the biggest team in the club. And uh, I'm quite excited uh, seeing him and we, we, we're quite certain that he's going to have a big impact. Lastly, maybe you spoke about uh, incomings, any outgoings perhaps that you can share with us? Yeah, well, we, we, we have uh, shared those. Uh, initially, the five that we have uh, released, uh, uh, they are gone. Uh, there are also those players uh, that were with the national team. Uh, some of them that obviously are out of contracts. Uh, so we don't want to speak about players that are not here. We only speak about those that are here. Yeah. I mean, obviously, the, the one player that was here yesterday is uh, Tulu was here, Tulu Kamatuka. Uh, also, you know that he played a big role in, in, in our season last uh, year. In the last season. We hope to, to have him part of the party soon. Uh, there are a few things that we are ironing out. Uh, the others that have not been here, uh, I think, I don't want to speak on their behalf. But, but the fact that uh, they were on the books yeah. of stars, I would like by name to confirm or at least the number to say like how many players that did start released this season? Five, right? Five that we spoke to. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and we also sent out a press release to say that look, uh, uh, they were not in the coach's plans. And subsequently also we don't want to hold on to players that uh, the coach might not use. I think they, are, they could be used by other clubs. Uh, and then you've got the two national players uh, that contracts came to an end, but they have not been back here. So in that respect, again, uh, I don't want to speculate. And, uh, uh, so as soon as they come and they show their intention to want to be part of the Okatarandu brand, uh, we're more than happy to speak to them. But at this stage, uh, this is the team that we have. And I think over the past five to six years that I've been with African Stars, I think this is one of the if you think that last season team was strong, I think this one is a real monster. Thank you very much. Thank you for everything.